Saturday, July 20th, 2019. The Funeral of Faye O'Sullivan. Good morning. Thank you all for coming today. I'm Dario, and I was one of Faye's teachers. But I was also her friend, and I count that one of the great honors of my life. I first met Faye when she enrolled in my algebra class. She was a little rusty, but with some coaching. A lot of coaching, actually. She got there. Every day we met in class, I could see her frustration at the material building and building. And every time when we met after class, as part of the tutoring program I volunteered with, I could see just how hard she was trying. Officially, the math classes she was taking were basic requirements to continue with a degree. More credit hour requirements to tick off the list. But unofficially, as all the staff, the assistants, and the more disillusioned students could tell you, they were a money farm. From a for-profit standpoint, it's genius. Market your degrees to high school dropouts and others who stopped caring about school before the tassels even moved across their caps. Tell them the way out of poverty and relentless credit card debt is to go back to school, get a diploma in business, marketing, sales, or something STEM-related. Then watch as they take the basic entry courses, fail them, then try again and again and again the attrition rate was high. The faculty did what we could to help. Tutoring, in-class assistance, bending grades where we thought we could get away with it. Ah, now don't tell on me. Some of the students made it, but most didn't. In the beginning, I thought for sure Faye would turn out like so many others. It was clear that math was never her strong suit. Everest High had not been kind to her in either an academic or personal sense. We talked about that many times in our early tutoring sessions. Faye was absolutely sure she would never use this material ever again, and just wanted to, how did she put it, crap this turd out. I see you are familiar with her vernacular. Those were the lighter moments. Then there were the rough moments x squared over 2 plus 9x over 2 minus 18 was the breaking point. I don't know why. It just was. Something about those numbers. She broke down, said she felt worthless, that she'd never get through college, pay her debts, or even see her 23rd birthday. That happened four times in our first year working together. But about a third of her way through the second time in Math 114, something changed. She walked into class that Wednesday morning. It was like she was a different person entirely. The slump in her shoulders was gone. Her eyes weren't low to the ground, avoiding the gazes of Terence and Gasha, two exceptionally good students in that class. She was confident, poised. Faye sat down in her chair in front of the screen. I asked her how she was and if she was ready for the next section on quadratics. Professor, she looked me in the eye with a smile. I think you'd better ask if those quadratics are ready for me. Three years later, 
I watched her walk across the stage to the dean, shake his hand, and accept her diploma. Bachelors of Science in Computer Information Systems. Class of 2014. Magna cum laude. I teared up. She'd made it. I taught that entire class, but of all of them, she made me the proudest. Is that bad to admit? I'm proud of all my students, but Faye is and well, was special. After graduation, I didn't hear from her for a few years. Faye had me as a reference on her resume. I wrote her a letter of recommendation. No one ever contacted me about it. I had her as a friend on social media, but you know what that was like. Cat pictures, annoyed rants about nothing, and a lot of fan art of that one comic book character. You know, the one with the claws and the, the hammer. What, no claws? I could have sworn there were claws. Maybe I'm mixing the cat pictures up. Uh, oh, no, you're right. The one that followed the guy in the purple suit around all the time. Very codependent. Anyway, you know what she would post. Nothing personal. Ever. Then, almost two years ago, she showed up in my office again. Faye looked great. Pretty sure her shoes were worth more than my Honda. At first glance, you'd think she was an entirely different person again. Nothing like the young woman who showed up to my class in torn jeans and enough leather to upholster, well, my Honda. Sorry, my car's on my mind. The check engine light keeps flickering and there's this weird smell. Anyway, nice shoes, expensive suit, and the same glint in her eye that to this day makes quadratic equations run for the hills in fear. Well, almost to this day. Faye was in town for a meeting, part of the big chemical manufacturer she worked for, but wanted to say hi to an old friend. Actually, she gave me a small gift. This, you probably can't see it well from here. It's a little pendant, and it's got four little semi-precious stones in it. Jade, red jasper, mother of pearl, and lapis lazuli. One for each time she broke down in that first rough year. Normally, I would never wear something like this, but for her, I couldn't not wear it. Then she kissed my cheek and walked out. That was the last time I saw her. So, sorry. This is harder than I thought it would be. So, here's to you, Faye. May you rest in peace. Thank you for your time, everyone. I, what the, why is the coffin open? Is this someone's idea of a joke? What and how? Faye? Saturday, August 3rd, 2019. The second funeral for Faye O'Sullivan. Good morning. My name is Dario, but, uh, you knew that already. That is, those of you who were here, uh, last time. Which, now that I look carefully, is, uh, all of you. Yeah, those of you who, uh, still came this time. Uh, take two? I don't know what happened last time. I don't understand. They, they said, the police, that is, that... They said it was some kind of uh, sick trick that doesn't match at all what they said at the hospital since her DNA, Faye's DNA, was a match to whoever or whatever came out of the, uh, uh, the box. That box, actually, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to do this, but can we pry that open just a peek? After last time, it would be nice. I'll wait. Uh-huh. There it goes. And, uh, hello in there? Any movement? <laughs> Sorry, I'm... I'm a little flustered. 
and paranoid, maybe. Of course, no movement, nothing. Good, 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 good. No animated corpses who run out and cause a local scare this time. Good morning. Oh, I said that already. Well, shoot. Oh, well. To quote our favorite deceased damsel, let's crap this turd out. Deceased damsel, what in Hades am I saying? <sighs> okay. I'm honestly surprised we have a, another one of these services. Not that Faye, the Faye we all knew in life, wouldn't deserve it. She absolutely did. And she wouldn't want whatever nonsense happened at the last service to uh, overshadow us. No, not at all, no. She would want us to recognize the truth of the situation. Faye is gone, and whatever freak nonsense went on last time was a, a terrible fluke, and might even have been some manner of uh, terrorist plot, uh, conspiracy. We won't give them her. They don't get to have her memory. That's ours, her gift to us. One thing I forgot to tell last time, Faye was stubborn. I know you, you knew that, and maybe you got that from me going on about how tenacious and determined she was in my math classes, but there's one story. I think it'll help. We were working together on some harder homework. By now she was out of the high school remedial math courses and into her physics class. The test was about optics mainly. and. She was having trouble with some of the problems involving lenses. At one point, I asked her if she wanted to call it a night. She looked at me with that same steely-eyed determination from before. Dr. Dario, I will master this, or die trying, then haunt it until it's mastered. You know, now that I think about it, maybe this wasn't the time for that story. Sorry, I'll move on. And uh, the lid is moving again. Uh, oh, great. And uh, now, yep. Yep. There she goes. Hi, uh, Faye. That you in there? It's uh, Dario, remember? And out the doors. Well, zero for two, am I right? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to go now. Bye. Saturday, August 21st, 2019. The third funeral for Faye O'Sullivan. Hi. Dario? Yeah, it's me again. Someone check the box, okay? I know we did that last time, but I'm not saying another word until we're sure. You're sure? Not a peep. No twitches creepy eyes staring at you out of the corner of your eye until you turn to look and see they were closed the whole time. You are 100% positive. Well, I'm not. Once, I could put down to a freak accident. Maybe my hallucination is possible. Inexplicable things happen all the time. The dance craze in France, 1518. I think that even happened in other countries, too. But come on. Twice? The same thing? The same people? Well, mostly the same people. Some of the same people. I'm still here, and uh, I see a few of you left from the first two services. Why did you come here, anyway? I'm here because someone paid me. I know. Crazy, right? Who pays someone to speak at their dear friend's funeral? Let alone that dear friend's third funeral, because the first two didn't stick, let alone the funeral after the one where the deceased not only ran out into town and caused a scare, but slated up about a dozen more funerals to come. Yeah, the death toll is now uh, 12. It's not pretty. Faye, 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 Faye. If you can hear me, Faye, the, uh, the real one, that is. I'm sorry. 
I have no idea what to do in this spot. The money is surprisingly good to come here and speak, but what do I say? There isn't a handbook for this. And any minute now, I know what's going to happen. The lid is going to pop open, and out will come the body, all made up in a nice suit for burial. Is it the same suit, by the way? Or did someone invest in a, <laughs> a new suit each time? The same coffin? Oh yeah, I recognize a, a scratch on it from last time. My bet? Her nails? And how can she possibly do that, let alone move? She's supposed to be embalmed, right? Organs gone, no real eyes. But last time those eyes were definitely open and there. Oh, what's this? Oh, whew. Just a cloud, changing light through the window. Thought the lid was opening again, but... And there it is, yeah, yeah, okay, lid goes up, hands on the side, swing the legs over, yep. Hi again, Faye, or whatever you are. You gonna stick around this time? Nope. Okay, nope. I'm out. Don't call me again. Whoever's paying for this, yeah, you only double. Saturday, August 28th, 2019. The fourth funeral for Faye O'Sullivan. Right, folks, this will be the last time. Yes, last time was supposed to be the last time. I did, yeah, I know. I did say don't call me again. I got called again. I told the caller, whoever it was, to go. No, I said no. I said, not even for a million bucks. Well, guess what he offered me? This is just stupid now. Who pays a former teacher of the deceased one million dollars to speak at a fourth, yes, fourth funeral? Hmm? I ask you, who? I would genuinely like to know. The checks were accepted, but I could not read that signature. Faye, I should thank you. After this, I can retire. <laughs> Is that what this was all about? An elaborate ruse for a bizarre way over the top thank you? Because I could see you pulling this off. You were fun, but you had that edge in you. You would cross lines. You were a line crosser. Mm -hmm. Not like a lot of others out there who pretend to be line crossers. Well, it's been fun. No, it really hasn't, but that's what you say at times like this, right? But I warn you, Faye, if you can hear me, don't try it this time. Stay in the box, please. Because this time we're loaded for bear. Yeah, that's right. I brought some friends with me this time. Living friends. Let me introduce them to you. Here is Frank Watkin, our lead holy water man. See the little white collar there? I am very reliably told this is not the first moldy body he's doused. Next to him is Amelia. No, not the one from Doctor Who. Why would you think that? Yes, you, Faye, the unspeaking. <laughs> Amelia Stokeworth, the mistress of steaks, not the cow kind. She can impale a bullseye with a wood dowel at 50 paces, and those pointy beauties she's holding are not dowel rods. Those are the finest fire-hardened anti-batty ash sticks. And who could forget Simone? I don't know exactly what party mix she has in that shotgun, but I don't want to be on this side of it when it goes off. Why am I on this side of it? Simone, would you point that a few degrees off, please? Thank you. So, Faye, dear Faye, dear, determined, mathematically challenged Faye, please stay dead, this time, please, could you please? I've got a bad feeling about this, and I don't like it, no, no, keep that lid closed, closed, not open, closed, <sighs> okay, if that's how you want it, let's get her. Saturday, 
September 7th, 2019. The funeral for Dr. Dario Roundhouse. Hello, my name is Frank. I was a friend of Dr. Dario, and I had the honor to be with him at the end. We... Oh, for crying out loud, not again. 